so up until now i have covered the list data structure uh, today we will take a look at uh, the other data structure called um, tuple i'm going to open a new python notebook Okay, uh, I'm going to rename this as, so if you want to rename, just click on here. Okay, if you click over here, it will ask you the new notebook name. So I'm going to say day three. Okay. So first of all, what is a tuple? What is a tuple? So we know uh, what is a list. List is immutable. Sorry, list is mutable. And uh, list, using list, you can store different data types you can store more than one value you can store different data types in it and also list is called as an iterable what do you mean by iterable list is also called as an iterable so any object which you can iterate it you want to fetch the data one after another we call that as an iteration or iterable okay any object that is iterable or that can be iterated or called as iterable so we have seen the list comprehension yesterday. How many of you remember list comprehension? So in the case of list comprehension, we are able to iterate uh, the list or you know the values, right? So we can you know iterate the va iterate the values and we can create a list also. Okay. And what is mutable? Once the elements are stored in list, that can be modified later. So that is what iterable. And also we have seen how to uh, slice uh, the um, list using index values right so we have seen uh, how to select the range of values how to select the first three elements last three elements or how to select all the values except last one or three values all those things we whatever we tried as part of uh, string data type uh, the indexing the same we tried with the list also so next uh, we will take a look at uh, the tuple so tuple or tuple some people they say calls a tuple or you know tu tuple so the tuple is used to store sequence of immutable python objects okay the tuple is also similar to list because uh, the values of the items are stored in the list can be uh, you know cannot be changed here right so sorry in the list the items values can be changed whereas the tuple it is immutable you can't change the values so tuple is also called as an ordered you can store the collection of ordered data elements in a tuple and uh, it is immutable unchangeable which means unchangeable tuples are immutable and can, we cannot modify the items and you can store multiple data type heterogeneous data types and also it can contain duplicate values can we have a duplicate value in list? Can we have a duplicate values in list? Yes, we can have duplicate values in list. Isn't it? Okay, let me just see in a list. Yes, we can have a duplicate values in a list. How do we remove a duplicate list? Sorry, how do we remove a duplicate values from a list? We will see uh, in a little later. Okay, so now uh, the, the using tuples are nothing but ordered collection of data. It can hold heterogeneous data type in it and also it is immutable. You cannot modify the values once you store the data in a tuple. And it can have a duplicate values in it. The difference between list and tuples are the uh, you know so the list if you to define a list you need to use the square bracket whereas uh, 
in the case of tuples you need to use parenthesis to define a loop a tuple but a parenthesis is an option for example i have something called t is equal to 2 3 4 5 6 here i did not specify any parenthesis i was able to assign more than one value to this uh, variable t but it is not a variable actually it is a tuple okay so here i did not specify para the parenthesis but uh, you need to use parenthesis as per the python documentation right so manual so this is what they suggest so to define so the difference between list and tuple is you, you to define a list we use square bracket in tuple uh, you will have to use the parenthesis other differences lists are mutable the values in the list can be changed whereas the values in the tuple cannot be changed the uh, indexing is same as your list for example if you want to access the first element of the tuple you can use uh, square bracket to specify you can specify the index okay so whichever value that you want right so same as the, the slicing the values in your tuple is same as your list okay for example if i say um, if i say 3 here so 2 3 4 2 3 4 okay and uh, 0 um so here this is the 2 3 4 okay and um, if i say uh, 3 colon 5 comma 6 starting from the index value 3 to the rest of the values okay and uh, the next one is um, yeah you can use the negative index value also here minus one so if i say something like um, so minus three minus one minus three minus one what is minus three minus one here so minus one is six and minus five sorry minus two the right to left this is the my index value is minus one minus two minus three here i mentioned about minus three minus one so the minus negative three what is the negative three index value minus one minus two, or four right and colon minus one but it, it displays up to five only right so as per the rule start value colon end minus one right so end is minus one again minus one minus one minus one is minus two so it displays till this one only four comma five if you want to display till the end then you, you don't have to specify minus one uh, okay colon you need to give colon here so four five six if you want to print starting from minus 3 index to uh, the you know uh, all the values except the last value starting from the index value location minus 3 to till the last value minus 1 so that is what 4 comma 5 so all these things are same now let us take a look at this one t of 0 is 2 the first value in the tuple is 2 to access this we need to use the index value so in if you if you want to use an index value you need to use the square bracket and followed by the tuple name in this case the tuple name is t and followed by the square bracket and if i specify the index value uh, you know for the corresponding index the value will be retrieved from the tuple so t of 0 the first value if you want to you know if i retrieve it i'll have to specify the index position of this value the index position starts from in python index value starts from zero right so zero okay fine uh, now i want to change it to triple two so what is assign equal sign is assignment operator i want to uh, you know replace the existing two by triple two is it possible to do that look here tuple object does not support item assignment first of all you cannot use equal sign you cannot assign or you cannot modify the value or you cannot you cannot modify the value you cannot the values cannot be modified whereas in the case of list the same thing i'm going to use it 
here what I'm going to do is instead of L of 0 sorry here L 0 and the first value is 3 isn't it so here I just go and modify it as triple 3 and L so use in, in the case of list you can modify the existing value whereas in the case of tuple it is not possible that's why it is called as immutable we already discussed about other immutable object can someone tell me uh, what the, what was that object yesterday we discussed right we discussed about immutable uh, object yesterday what was that which data type which data type was not was immutable we discussed the number of uh, int, int data type float data type and also we discussed boolean data type and uh, we discussed about complex data type we did not discuss okay i will tell you later and then we discussed about list also A string data type also we discussed date data type we are yet to discuss so can you tell me uh, you know uh, did we discuss the immutable uh, object or data type yesterday how many of you remember it see yesterday night itself i uploaded the video i don't know why you people are not you know see guys uh, right so attending punctually is not not at all you know good see there are students they never attend but they remember everything okay so string is an immutable object we discussed about string right so after uh, string is an immutable object like string uh, tuple is also immutable object remember this don't forget it so i would urge you all to please watch my video don't uh, you know um, underestimate or don't you know disregard okay so please watch my video without fail and come back with questions see the, the target to you all is each one of you have to send minimum three questions on a daily basis to me no matter how busy i am let me see uh, you know if you all but don't send me uh, you know the trivial thing you know give it a try okay and if you are not able to get answer in the internet also then you come back to me okay that is the best way of doing it because if you ask all small small things right uh, uh, and tomorrow even if you send right something different i'll think this is also a very simple thing right so maybe they can find the answer in the net right so uh, try give it a try sometimes the answer will be there in the net but you will not be able to understand that you can send it so right give it a try every day each person should send three three questions to me that way i can make sure that you're all uh, you know preparing well okay next one is t plus mm, okay can i find out the minimum value of uh, this one so let's say t dot min is that available so if you want to see the functions that are built-in functions that are available as part of each object so you just type the object name in this case the object is tuple t t dot and if you press tab you can see count or index okay so here something will count no no count is a function count of 2 or count of 3 so even uh, okay count is I don't, I'm not sure why the count is used and index you can use index index of uh, 2 0 index of 2 is 0 no so something and uh, let me do one thing let uh, yeah when you type list so what is the list name here L followed by the list name L if you put if you type dot and press tab you will get various options here okay the functions what are the functions that you can use it append clear copy already we discussed about this we, you try all these functions extend i did not cover it count also i did not cover it try all these functions remove sort for example if i use sort here and if i type l here it will give me this one but whereas in the case of t dot sort we don't have that function is available here okay so that one not all the functions are supported uh, supported in tuple like uh, you know the other the functions that are available in list okay all the functions 
that are available in built in functions available in list that is that are not available in your uh, tuple okay next one is uh, let me just uh, t of um, so you cannot modify the value and you cannot delete the value so del t of uh, 0 if i say like this you cannot delete the value you cannot modify you cannot delete whereas in the case of list can i delete the value yes right so you can use del function to delete the value to verify that we will check 3 4 5 6 triple 3 it started with 3 right so duplicates two threes were there one three got removed because the the first three got removed here l of 0 del using del you can remove a value from a list and uh, we have remove function is also available l dot remove is also available and how do i remove a variable for example a is equal to 10 and b is equivalent to 5 and c is equivalent to a plus b okay now uh, if i see now both the a plus b's values available in c now i don't need the variable a and b i need only c so del a del b and uh, print c Fifteen. So ten plus five fifteen. After I computed the value of both the a and b, and I stored in c, I don't need any longer these two values, these two variables, because these two variables consumes memory. So what I do is I delete these. So how do I delete a variable using del? How do I delete a specific element in a list? You can use del. Can I delete a specific value in a tuple? You cannot do it. You cannot modify also. You cannot delete the value. Can I insert a value in a tuple? So here, I am going to say, let me, I will just type for our sake. I just, so these are the values. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, the index value. Tier 4, if I give, 6. Right, so here what I do is plus equivalent to uh, let us say I'm going to say uh, triple five comma mm. not callable. I think uh, you can use it. No. T plus equivalent to yes. Now look here. I can insert a value in a tuple. Though I can, though I cannot delete or modify the values in a tuple. So I am allowed to insert the value in an existing tuple. You need to remember this. This is very important. So how did I do this? T, my tuple name, plus equal sign. What is plus equal? This is called your incrementer operator. Increment, incrementer. So we in C language, you know, right? Incrementer. This is equivalent to T is equivalent to T plus 5, 5, 5. Comma. Why comma after triple 5? If you don't give triple 5, uh, you know, if you don't give uh, comma followed by triple five, it, it, it is kind of a syntax error. It will not work. It will throw an error. For example, if I click on it, and uh, sorry, if I remove the comma here, see, can only concatenate tuple, not to tuple. So here, yeah, so this is nothing but. So I'm going to concatenate this value, right? So T plus. Right, so the comma is in, you know you need to remember it. So in the case of tuple, if you want to concatenate any value with your existing tuple, you need to specify comma followed by the value inside the parenthesis. Got it? So you can so look here. So since I executed more than once, you know two times the same value got in the, you know you know concatenated. So triple five. So you can insert the value, but you cannot delete or modify value. Hence tuple is called your immutable object got it so next one is